Well, it's story time, and our scheduling has made our deacon, who did the collecting, our storyteller. So, basically what I'm doing is I'm just eating up all the time until he gets here. And here he is. didn't fit. I go, man, you know, the, the part that 
it bolted to the frame, or it was supposed to bolt to the frame, but it wouldn't go there because the part that went to the bumper it just held it out of alignment. So I'm going back to the wrecking yard, and I'm going, oh man, so I find another one. This one had some rust on it, but it was looking pretty good. I, but it didn't even have the part for the bumper. But while I was looking through, trying to find the right trailer hitch on all these trucks they gave me this list on, I found something. I found this. It's a socket. And I go, wow, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this present. You know, it didn't really pay for the 26 miles I had to drive to get the second trailer hitch, but that's pretty cool. No size on it, didn't know what size it was. I had to drop it in my little tool tray and went on about my business, got the trailers, went back, and oh, and I planned ahead because I was going to get another drive line because that's what I found out my truck needed to get that vibration out of it. Couldn't find one, so I put the trailer hitch on and it fit, amazingly enough. Took the old drive line out, that's the part that goes between the transmission and the rear end. It's just a round shaft that spins really fast. And I got that. And I took the old one up to the wrecking yard and I'm looking around and almost all of them were either missing or bent. Couldn't believe it. And I finally found one sliding under all these trucks and stuff to kind of do that. And I found one and I and so I and I take the other one out so I knew exactly the tools it took to get it out. And I put those in my hand, I slid under the truck, and I took the back of the drive shaft off, and then I wormed my way up to the middle to get the center part out. It was different. The, size, the, bolt, the bolt sizes were different. I go, what a man. I said, what in the world was this wrong with this thing? And I up there, so I, I kind of drug my, kind of, well, I hooked it with my toe or my foot and kind of drug that my little tool tray in there. Tried the other wrenches I had, wouldn't fit. I tried the, the crescent wrench, I figured like this, but it was way too tight. Tried the vice grips, and pliers, and nothing worked. And I'm like, I'm going to have to drive 26 miles back home, get the proper tool, come back and do this thing. And I'm like, ah, oh, like this. And then, I was, you know, in fact, I slid out from the tra truck, I looked at my tray, and what did I find? I found this socket. And I go, man, I still didn't know what size it was. And uh, I go, wow. So I go, well, it's worth a try. Slid back under the truck, put the thing on, dropped it over the nut. It fit. It was the perfect size. Somewhere or another, God knew that I was going to need a 15 millimeter deep well, 3 8 drive socket. <laughs> I don't know how he figured it out, but he knew and he gave it to me free two days before I needed it. Oh, wow. And I'm going, wow, thank you, Lord. Yeah, I mean, I could have gone back and got, got one. I, I probably had one. I had some tools stolen, so I, but I still think I might have had one. Because you never need a 15 millimeter deep well socket because it's just a size that's almost never used. And yet, God gave one to me just when I needed it. And he does that for us all the time. We have to, every time we see something, he gives us this little gift at times. Sometimes it may just be the nice smell of a flower. It might be a beautiful sunset. It might be just somebody doing you a favor. You know, and if you just say, thank you, Jesus, for that little gift. And, and remember to do that. Remember to thank him for everything that he's done for you. And even thanking when he finds you or you find a, a socket laying in the dirt on your car. So remember that. Okay, this is our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you for the, all these little blessings you give us each and every day so that we may remember that you are the creator, you are a redeemer, that you love us and you like to just shower us with your blessings every day. For Jesus' sake, amen. amen.
12, just when I need him. 